guys, spider about here, Next Gen Tactics. This is Dead Space 2, Camp and Walkthrough and Hardcore Difficulty Part 5. To save or not to save? And I know in my previous video or videos on Hardcore, I uh, specified where you should or where you should use your first save. And I'm going to rescind that specification or, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I just completed Hardcore last night. And I can tell you right now that I probably saved like way too early. All right, you don't want to save before this room where I did, because uh, that's too early. Nor do you want to even save your game uh, before the second time you enter this room. I'm actually gonna put it out to you guys that you want to save, uh, you know, closer to where my second save point is, which is before the solar array. And the only reason I say that was uh, I ended up having my third save before before the drill sequence. Uh, we were on the drill with Ellie, and it was hell, man. Like it took me a long time to uh, to actually complete it uh, at the end of the game. So um, you know, I think uh, the best thing to do, just because you know the game's obviously easier early on, uh, you know, save just before the solar array. Because the rest of the stuff isn't even that bad, you know. I mean, you could go through all the stuff. Like the temple is nothing. I mean, you can go through the temple and Dana, the church unitology. Why here? I guess temple, church, whatever. Station that Tideman can't monitor. Separation of church and state. No, Dana, we shouldn't be in here. This is the last place we want to be right now. Isaac, my brother died trying to rescue you. This is important. This will work. I'm in a safe room at the top of the church. So, there, okay? so, I mean, obviously, the, you know, the <laughs> you want to save as far away as possible from the start of the game, at least your first save. And, uh, you know, either way, either way, no matter what you do, it's going to be hell. You're going to, you know, you're going to die accidentally or for some stupid reason, and you're going to freaking kick yourself. Um, but, you know, the reason why I say before the solar array is because, you know, it's sort of a, a sequence where you're flying down, and, you know, if you hit something, you're dead. That's it. I mean, you can very easily do it, too. And I've done it a number of times. So that's why I say, you know, that first save. Whereas, you know, here you can sort of manage it. I mean, you have your force gun. You have the plasma cutter. And, you know, you have health packs. So, you know, if you get hurt, you can, you can restore your health. You can manage it a hell of a lot easier than, you know, just hitting a friggin' obstacle once while you're flying in outer space. And then... You know, it's game over. You gotta start right from the beginning again. Uh, one other thing that I will say is that people have asked, well, you know, these strategies are no good. You got the zealot suit and you got the, the force cannon uh, or the force gun. Well, I mean, number one, you can buy the force gun fairly easily. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna use some credits doing it, but uh, you know, you have to. <laughs> you know, hopefully, after after watching what I've done, you can uh, maybe manage your. Uh, money a little bit better, uh, you know, you won't um, have to use as much health or as much ammo, you can use projectiles a little bit more. I mean, you know, I could I could try and use projectiles for everything and carry projectiles back and forth between rooms and everything, but number one, that would take, you know, an extra long time, so you'd have these longer, boring videos. Um, and, you know, yeah, I have the cell suit, I'm going to use it. You know, the same with the suit. I mean, when you get a new suit, upgrade it. You know, get the, get a new suit. Get, uh, uh, I forget which one. You know, when I did my uh, regular campaign walkthrough, I mean, use the same uh, uh, suit purchases that I did there. And, you know, the force can, you know, the force gun, once you buy it, I mean, it's the same force gun, just because I have the Zealot force gun. I mean, it, yeah, I didn't have to buy it. It was zero credits, but it's still the same gun. And and <laughs> I guess the Zealot suit uh, actually gives me a little bit extra damage on the on the force gun. But, well, like I said, I mean, it's, you know, the strategies from where you save and, and what you do, um, you know, might, might vary slightly, ever so slightly. And the only real difference is I, I'd probably end up using projectiles a little bit more than, than actually using your ammo. Damn, Isaac, you gonna freaking stick a needle in your eye or what? Hmm. So yeah, like I said, I mean, in in the church here, I call it temple. In the church, I mean, it's pretty easy stuff. I mean, you you actually end up fighting um, 
you know, we can call it a boss for lack of uh, a better term. Uh, but you only have to hit him a few times in, in uh, the yellow fleshy part to have him drop you, and then you get a bunch of little guys. I mean, I, the, this, the part we're approaching here, actually, I, I ended up changing um, my objective to the store or something, and I, was, I got confused because that's the first time I've ever used it, or to the save point. So I actually went back to the save point, and now I'm going back to the objective. I'm like, where the hell does this thing want me to go? I thought it was the objective marker, but it was... I would switched it to the save point uh, marker. Anyway, so we're going down here. And, uh, you know, in this area, you get a bunch of these... Um, these runners, let's call them. These fast guys. Uh, you can use projectiles. Projectiles are pretty tough to use on these guys. Um, I definitely, definitely use the force gun. And I'm not sure if I actually do it here. I think as the game progressed... I use the plasma cutter less and less, and the force gun more and more. And you'll see that as, as you know, if you're watching all the hardcore videos progress, you're gonna see a hell of a lot more use of the force gun than the plasma cutter later on in the later part, later stages of the game. So you actually have to run out there and, and trigger that gate to drop. And we're just waiting for these guys to run at you. I mean, they kind of yeah, missed them there. Oh my god, kill him. Yeah, not now, Ellie. Alright. Yeah, you, you, the best, your best bet, I mean... You try and hit them when they're peeking their head around the corner. But your best bet is hitting them uh, as they come running with the projectiles. And I can tell you, I actually uh, finished hardcore mode last night. Uh, if you're watching this the day this video was posted, then I finished uh, hardcore mode last night, and uh, you probably already seen it the uh, the video with the hand cannon. If you haven't, <laughs> take a look at it. It's uh, called uh, the hand cannon and world's uh, fastest boss battle. It's actually pretty epic. The freaking hand, hand cannon is uh, is awesome. And uh, I also discovered another thing I discovered. And I think someone made a comment about this, but usually in games, when you defeat a game on the very, very hardest difficulty, if there's a trophy or achievement for completing on the lesser difficulty, you get it. You get it. But this is not the case for Dead Space 2. You go through the funerary ring of the church and down to the crypt. It's very important you not be dead. Oh, you know what? Did I say Ellie? No. I thought we were talking. No, Earth has here. Not here. Anyways, uh, yeah, I've been, because I played the latter part of the game, we were talking to Ellie, and I got a little confused. It's actually Dana. But, um, what the hell is this saying? Oh! Yeah, so you don't get the achievement for uh, completing the game on Zealot difficulty, so you still have to go back and do that. So my advice is, you know, complete the game on, like, normal, like I did, on a normal difficulty, and then um, immediately after you've done that, do the hardcore. Because you have to unlock it, obviously. So once you unlock hardcore, do it on hardcore, and then once you're done that, uh, do it. You know, do it on zealot with your uh, new game plus that you had from your normal difficulty. Uh, new game plus, and use the freaking hand cannon. And I'm pretty. You know what? If someone can leave a comment, because I'm not exactly 100% sure, you should be able to get your achievement on a new game plus. Um, you know, I just thought of that just now, you know, are they going to give you achievement? It doesn't specify that you can't do it, and you can do a uh, new game plus with, um, on, uh, Zealot difficulty. So, you should be able to get the achievement on new game plus, and just use the hand cannon, because the hand cannon's epic. I mean, you've already been through the game, uh, you know, twice. Uh, and once, you know, on hardcore, it's freaking hard, man. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy hard. You only have three saves. So you've already done it on the hardest difficulty. Go and have some fun. Use the hand cannon and beat the shit out of everything. It's hilarious. Go watch the video. It's freaking hilarious. So why not, you know, go through on Zealot and have some fun with it? It's not like you need to go, you know, do a pure walkthrough or a playthrough on Zealot difficulty, you know, after you've done it twice. Alright, that's just my, my opinion anyway. You know, take it or leave it, whatever. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. Definitely that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and I actually went through it on normal a second time 
already. If it completed on normal a second time. So, you know, I've basically purchased every suit, every weapon, and I'm going to actually upgrade every weapon and go through Dunzella and use the, uh, the hand cannon. So it's going to be pretty epic. So we're in the freezer here. I guess like the... the I don't know why I freaking went up to this guy. Just finish them off. Don't do not do what I just did there, because a lot of times, you know, I got hammered a few times uh, from trying to do that, finish, finishing those guys. You know, the regular stalkers, maybe, but not those guys. If these guys, it might be all right to do it, but even then I wouldn't, you know. Forget it. Stay away from them. Finish them off from a distance. So you actually have a few more guys in here. I had two or three. Two, I think. Using the projectile there. Uh, yeah, two. Alright, finish those guys off. And, uh... We go on to the next, uh, the next area, and this will be the, uh, the end of part five. Like I said, I did finish it last night, so... Yeah, I got some uh, pretty good strategy. It took a little bit, and there was there's a few parts at the very end which really just pissed me off because there's there's a lot of part areas where you just die so easily just by doing something stupid. Um, you know, it's not like again when I talked about it earlier in the video, it's not like dying by some necromorphs where you could have had you know if you had enough health you just heal yourself. No, it's like you have one shot at doing this and you hit something or you, or you make the wrong move. And uh, you're dead. Dana, I think I found the exit, but it's way above me. Gravity controls are locked out. Dana? Fuck! Easy there, Isaac. You don't have to get all freaking potty mouth. I don't know if you can hear me. You need to go up. Do you hear me? You need to go up. Go up, go up! Alright, that's been part 5 on Hardcore Difficulty. We'll have more for you very soon. Stick around. Stay tuned for every Hardcore video, if you dare. Because it's scary shit. Anyways, for NextGenTactics.com, I'm Spiderbite, and I'm out. Hey guys, we're on Facebook! Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.